Hey HPG fam, everybody. Um, v Marie. Um, today is February 2nd, 2011. Stuck in the house due to snow. And I just want to quickly share um, a couple of things. This brand here, the HCG Solution. I do not recommend it. I stayed hungry. I didn't lose. Um, stayed hungry. I was miserable on that. Uh, Miss So Called Plum sent me a message to ask me. Mm, did I ever get back or did I um, did I get in contact with the manufacturer? Yes, I did. I sent them an email. I uh, went to their company website and I sent them an email. The name of this company is um, the Nigen Guarantee. Um, it's by Biotech. Okay, so it's NigenBiotech.com. That's who I, I sent the uh, email to. I let them know I was very dissatisfied with their product. Um, that I have done HCG in the past with great results and using their product I stayed hungry and I was very unhappy and dissatisfied with it just to let them know you know um, I'm not sure what they're going to do with that information but as of today they have not responded to me and I have ta uh, I did that email last week I believe so Ms. So Call Plum to, your, to answer your question no I have not heard anything from them but as soon as I do I will definitely let you know as of today, I am 164.8. That is a 1.2 loss. I am not on P2. I am I'm really in the maintenance phase, which is P4, but I'm pretty much eating P3 style foods. Um, yesterday, Mama Clock made a video, or at least I watched it yesterday. I'm not sure if she did it yesterday, but Mama Clock did a video, and she was talking about when she's on P4, how carbs don't work good for her carbs and sugars. And just reflecting on what she said, I'm pretty much the same way. So I do eat a lot more vegetables. I I do eat carbs though, um, but I don't eat very many. I may get like if it's potatoes, a spoonful of potatoes, and then I'll have the meat and I'll have the vegetables. Uh, the other day though, I did. I don't know what I was going through, but I pigged out on crackers of all things. I had bread and crackers. So I don't know. I was just going through. A, I don't know. So that's what I ate the other day, but it didn't really affect me much, which is a good thing. I did get sleepy after I ate it, but it didn't affect my weight uh, weight very much. I did go to the gym the following day, and um, but I'm maintaining pretty well. So like I said, I'm 1.2 pounds down from the last time I vlogged, and that was when I was just finishing up that HCG crap. Uh, the HCG solution, and that's what I'm calling that crap, but not HCG because I really enjoy this protocol. I am getting concerned because I'm not going to say I'm addicted to HCG, but I really like phase two. That, that's kind of weird, right? I like phase two because I feel like I'm detoxing or something. Um, like I'm eating so clean. So I'm going to do another round. I think my my body is saying, hey Venus, you're at the weight that you need to be at in the 160 range. I don't know, but I still have this belly fat, and that's what I really want to get rid of. So I am going to do a short round. We'll do a short round for March 13th, 20 day round. And um, I guess that'll be the last one and see if I can lose anything at that point. I know in high school, when I got into the marching band, I lost weight because I was like a chubby kid. So when I finally got uh, started losing weight, 160 was like the range that I, 160 to 175 I was always in that range when I was in high school and but then I was doing a lot of like diet stuff you know like uh what was out back then Dexatrim and those water pills and a diet tea and I was doing a lot of stuff like that that was very you know bad for you so that helped me stay at that level but I'm wondering if that's just the size I'm supposed to be um, you know how some doctors have charts and saying according to your height you should be uh, weigh XYZ but is it possible that even though at my height a person body just cannot get any smaller um, I don't know does that make any sense um, I know I shouldn't have all this belly fat but why is it not going anywhere and it's not as big as it was but it's still there so I don't know all my food go to my belly and that's it so that's a good question though. Do one, I mean, those charts, do they really make a difference if your body's saying, hey, because I don't really want to get any smaller. And like up here in my, um, in my thorax area, I don't really have any fat up there. And my legs, um, I don't know. 
everything is pretty toned up except for my belly when it's like I get to the belly and it's boof I got a keg well not really but it's not going anywhere so oh well that's life that's babies right or it could be just like somebody said I think I was watching the doctors or Dr. Oz and it was like a woman when she have kids her muscles detach in her belly and so is that what well, I just may never lose that maybe could that be it I don't know so if it's anybody that's like a exercise guru or somebody that's a nutritionist a doctor a nurse is that true will that belly fat always be there or is there a way for me to actually lose it because I haven't lost it yet well that's all I have for today besides me being snowed in I'm gonna get ready to cook dinner for the fam and um guess I'll holler at you guys later deuces <laughs>